<clears throat> hey guys, this is the Windy Fan here, and today I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on something called Fighter Factory Ultimate or 3 or Fighter Factory Classic, it doesn't matter which one you use. So, basically, as you can see, this is a tool that um, you can creators use for editing sprites for their well, mainly just editing for characters, like their codes, and everything. But what's useful for sprite animators like me and many others that we've done is just um, use these for getting sprites of Mugen characters and getting like effects and sounds. So here I'll teach you like in general just how to use it, get get sprites from any Mugen character you want, and then just um get sounds and effects and whatever you need and first of all you need to download fighter factory so let's google that shit fighter factory 3 or ultimate whatever you want to do and right here you can go to this link if it loads okay blah blah blah, blah. bam download whichever one you need to have whether it's, whether you're using windows 32 bit or 64 bit or linux whatever you need to do and after you download it it's going to be a dart rar file so you want to extract it to a folder and you don't want to separate the actual application from anything from the actual files so like if, if you see i have a one whole folder for my extraction that has all the little folders or files that the application needs along with the application itself and so now I'm going to teach you just in general how to get characters, where to get them and stuff. One good site, like, well, besides being Fighters Guild, of course, would be um, a site like Mugen Archive. They have a bunch of characters and it's always being updated, but there are some issues nowadays that with downloading the characters. Like as you can see, they're trying to boost activity in the forum, so then lot lurkers that can't really download characters, but, um, yeah, so let's go here, and let's say I wanted to get, like, a Dragon Ball Z character, so, let's see, okay, most of these are crap, but, like, let's go to the good ones, uh, let's see. Yeah, for example, we have like Brada, Bar, Bardock, Bardock, Nappa Broly, Teen Gohan, Super Saiyan 2. Ooh. So let's see, you wanted to get Goku Black. You click him, and this is just elementary stuff, so you should know how to do this. But you click download, it's gonna be like an ad fly download, so it's gonna be like five seconds of waiting. Hopefully, you have ad blocker so you don't see random shit here. Or, I guess you still see it, I don't really know. You click this, it's gonna download it, save it to wherever you want to download. Usually, I just have a folder. I saved all my characters to my Fighter Factory folder, so they're all in one spot. And so, let's go to Goku Black. I should have him around here. Oh no, he's on my USB, so let's see. Um, Let's go to... Like, you can download whole Mugens as well, which is what I do as well, and get a whole bunch of characters. Like, for example, One Piece characters. I'm gonna go to a character that I recently found, which I wish I found sooner, but I just found him, and he's a pretty damn neat character for the sprites he has. They're not that great, but they're pretty solid. You can use these. So, yeah. What was I think? Okay, so here, let's go to my Madra folder. Ah, let's change the music back. Okay. Yeah, uh, where was I? Alright. Okay, so over here, you want to go to the this file. The, usually it's this file will have the name of the character as it as itself, and it will say it's a dot def file or def file. Click that. Or usually you want to say you want to right click it. You can be like open with, and then you select Fighter Factory. 
what I do on my computer since it's Windows 10, I just click it and then I have Fighter Factory as the main option. Click that. And now click Fighter Factory. Hopefully it loads. Ah. See it's loading the character. 51%. Let me pop this soda. Okay. So you see this is like the description of the character right here. We're in the definitions tab. You want to go to the sprites tab. So okay. Here's what you do if you want. Just the sprites. So as you can see you have all the sprites for model right here. Individual. As the individual sprites. As you can see scrolling around you have all the sprites and whatnot. These also include stuff like his effects as well. So be wary. And usually there's a shit ton of um, sprites in, within these characters because just the effects alone. So I, you can see there's like 2,000 over here and whatnot. But if you want to save sprites, what you can do, what you do is you go to this little icon right here. It's a floppy disk basically, and it says PCX. And when you hover over it, it says save one more sprites as image files. Click that and you click all. You can click current if you just want one specific sprite that you're on, like this one right here. But what I usually do is just click all, press OK, and then you go to your folder. Usually I make my own folder of the character. So let's see. Okay, new folder. Mother of sprites. Then you can just save as like Madara Uchiha and they'll be saved as like when you save it they'll just save it as like Madara Uchiha 1-1 and they'll save it as like the sequences for the sprites so like if there's a wrong sequence it's gonna be like Madara, D Madara Uchiha 3-1 Madara Uchiha 3-2 and etc so save that gonna take a while to save all those this sprite this character has a shit ton of sprites so I'm probably gonna delete it right afterwards because I don't need it right now I'm just keeping it on the back burner but um yeah so let that go real quick just enjoy the music which just ended so let's go back gotta kill my weeb shit out of here don't want y'all listening to that <clears throat> okay, yeah, so it's still going. It's a little ass computer. <sighs> Come on, go faster. Probably should pick this more light character that isn't as sprite heavy to make this video go faster because I'm gonna talk about some more things. Almost there, 10 9, 8% left. Come on, come on, baby, work. Twerk. Okay, okay, so it's done, right? Now you go to your folder, you go to, let's see, where did I save it? I saved it in just Fighter Factory Loan. Then you go to your folder. And as you can see, it saved all the sprites as it is. And it has the effects. What you usually want to do just to save space on your computer is you want to, you can just delete the effects, like the PNGs of all of them. That's what I usually do. But yeah, so that's that for just the sprites alone. I'm going to delete this because I don't need this right now. And on to the effects slash gifs. So in this tab with the little movie clip or whatever, this the slap disc or whatever I don't know what it's called but you go here and this is where all the sprite animations are so as you can see he has a stance animation what I usually do sometimes well at least nowadays if I'm too lazy to do anime uh, walk or run sequence I just um delete that okay I just go to the gif that has his walking sequence look at it looks fine to me then what you can do is you go to this cactus image right here that says save the current animation as an animated gif when you hover over it 
and just like the sprite thing it's just gonna be like that you save it to wherever you want uh, let's just save it as walk and now it's gonna save sometimes it'll delay a little bit if it's something big but gonna be a GIF. This is my little app that I use to look at GIFs because when I animate I like to preview my FX. And you can see this is the GIF. Obviously it's not gonna have the green background. They're all gonna be transparent in the back. Well they should be. In my experience I've never dealt with any effect that had like no transparent background. But they're always transparent. So no need to worry about that. As you can see. But yeah the cool thing is that you can find at least for beginning animators, when you're new to the community and you don't have a lot of access to and like high quality effects and whatnot, you can find your basic effects and sometimes really nice effects as well. Like, here, let's look at this guy. So let's zoom out. Let's preview him. You can see it's like a fireball, right? So you do the same thing, you just go over here and you save it, and bam, that's your effect. And then what else? Alright, and lastly, now I'm just gonna go over the sounds. So I'll pause this music for now. Yeah, wrong thing. Okay. So here you can listen to all the sounds. Like, especially again, if you don't have access to a lot of like resources from other people in the community, or like, which isn't really a, should be an issue because there's my pal named Caius. If you just Google Caius resource junkyard I'm not sure if you can find it on Google but like I favorited that shit like right here you go here and bam he has a whole bunch of resources for beginning animators so let's see you have some beginning tutorials advanced tutorials background resources camera converters converter effects obviously in sound packs, which include my sound pack that, I'm re that I recently started. It has a bunch of anime sounds, not from Mugen, like I'm showing you right now, but from actual like shows that I started ripping. So you can give that a download. Go ahead and use those, that'd be great. But yeah, so to get sounds, it's not as different as the rest. You just go to your sound. Let's play this one. <laughs> Ooh. What a weebo. Okay. No. So, let's say you want that awesome anime line. You go to... Well, I went too fast. You go right here to this floppy desk with the sound icon over it. And it says, save the sound as a wave. This is good because it saves it as a wave. So it already fixes the complication of, like, MP3 to com wave conversions for Flash. Because Flash usually only takes... Uh wave or at least it works well with that wave audio file audio <coughs> audio files go to current because that's the only one you want you can do all but that would just be a hell of a waste of time in my opinion well no, it's probably better to do that than just cycle through and delete them but anyway same process as with the other sprites and the effects you just go to whatever folder you want to save it to you do this blah 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 effect or sound it's gonna save as a dot wave press save and let's go bam and let's see if it's saved and bada bing it's right here play it <laughs> i have that sound beat, beat yeah so there you go so that's all there is to using ultimate five oh i almost forgot so if you want to ever save sprites in a different palette because that's what i've noticed okay these sprites suck for this example so i'm gonna open a different character come on now yeah okay so we got characters no fuck these low res characters uh yeah here let's do shen from alt king of fighters <coughs> shen Wu. all right so as you can see he's a very high detailed these kind of sprites usually have a lot of uh, different palettes for their sprites, and sometimes you might say you might get a character, and I'll have it saved like as this 
as like they'll have the palette saved as a different palette than the normal palette that's supposed to be like the original one that it's supposed to be so what you can do is go to the palette you want like let's say I want him to be in this palette which is his original color set you go here and to apply that to all the sprites you go to or not this you go to this icon with the two or this this one right here I haven't used it in a while but you go to this last icon that says apply the current palette to the specified sprites click that you do all and after that now it's gonna save it and okay it's not responding of course okay so now it's saved it and now look it's saved as all the uh it saved all the sprites in this palette be careful when using this before downloading effects though because then if you try to go to effect look like this it's going to be uh, not in the original color and it's going to look ugly so you might want to save effects of characters before you go ahead and change this palette it shouldn't matter just make sure you don't save the palette when you close the file otherwise that's about it thank you guys for watching and have a good time animating